Holly, hello, and welcome to Confessions of a Refashionista. I'm Refashionista Sherry, and I am here to show you how to live affordably and sustainably because why? Being eco friendly shouldn't cost the earth. Now, you'll have to pardon the lighting again today. It is another rainy, gray, moody, dark day. So I've had to kind of set up, you know, all of my lights and everything, and I haven't quite got the hang of it yet. But um, we'll get there, we'll get there. I've been studying up. <laughs> now, something happened this morning that um, I, I just have to share, and it actually is uh, now turning into this week's tutorial. I do have a different tutorial in the works and on the go, but unfortunately the paint and stain is not quite dry yet, so um, it's possibly a good thing that this happened. <laughs> now, I was, you know, pulling on my jeans like you do, and um, I usually use belt loops here, you know, the belt loops, when I'm pulling up my jeans. And then tragedy struck. As I did the jump and pull up, um, I heard rip. And uh, yeah, this this happened. Um, does that ever happen to you? It's very, very annoying <laughs> when that happens. This is like my current favorite pair of jeans because they are very, very comfortable. And uh, yeah, then I, I had a thought and I remembered a little trick that my grandma showed me when I was just a wee little lassie in the 80s. So I actually managed to find the, the kind of ingredients that my grandma used to repair this type of rip under a belt loop. Like you can see, it's still attached. The actual belt loop didn't come off. It just kind of tore right underneath it. So today I am going to share my grandma's quick and easy method for mending and repairing torn belt loops. But before we get started with that, I just want to remind you that I do have a Patreon Patreon now, and uh, I really want to say thank you to those who have already joined. It is it is so wonderful that you want to support me beyond doing likes and shares and comments and su subscribing to my channel. All of that is absolutely fantastic and it truly is fantastic free support that you can do that just takes seconds. But I shall link down below to my Patreon again because I mean, you get a lot of groovy perks when you join my little community and uh, I am constantly uploading totally new, fresh, unique content over there that no one else gets to see except my Patreon supporters. Plus, you will have early access to everything. Plus, I have merch that will be delivered to you four times a year. So that is so cool. And I am impatiently waiting to receive my own merch so I can show you exactly what it is. But um, yeah. Thanks for the support, those who already are supporting on Patreon. Thank you to those who do like, share, comment, and subscribe, and spread my refashionista message far and wide, because again, it's totally free and it just takes seconds, but it really does help my little tiny channel to grow, plus to, uh, you know, get more people upcycling, refashioning, and really realizing that you can live sustainably on a very small budget. It is quite easy. And again, I have so much of free content online on my refashionistasherry.com. It's all over there. Check it out. But uh, yeah, I think it's time now to let's get fixing my jeans because I want to wear them. This is Confessions of a Refashionista. So for this relatively quick and easy project, you'll need your damaged denim plus these awesome iron-on patches. Now, I don't know if you guys remember these from like the 80s. I'm sure they've been around for even longer than that, but I was a kid in the 80s. And uh, yeah, these... Um, these definitely got ironed on to the knees of my jeans, as well as the belt loops. <laughs> and uh, and I guess they were uh, a good thing back then, and they're a pretty, pretty cool thing now. We're going to use these plus 
some other techniques to, you know, really make sure this is not going to come apart. We're not just going to use these, but these are definitely a ginormous help. Alrighty, so your iron-on patches, an X-Acto knife, and scissors, plus, of course, your iron and your sewing gear. Alrighty, so the first thing we want to do is, of course, get uh, this kind of hanging end of the belt loop off. Now you can just simply chop that with your scissors, chop off this part where it is still attached, but I like to use my super sharp uh, X-Acto knife here and really get through the threads that are still holding it on like so. It's just easier to do it this way because then I don't have to worry about trying to pick them all off when when I just, you know, chop it with my scissors. Now, because this is starting to fray here, just going to carefully chop off those little frayed bits. Okay, that should be fine. And I'm actually just noticing that um, on the other side, so the other belt loop that I use to hike up my jeans um, is on its way to coming apart as well. And uh, you can kind of see here, it is already starting to rip. So it probably only has, there it is, a few more pulls on it before it's going to rip too. So I'm just going to do them both at the same time and uh, preemptively repair this other side as well. So now that I have my little hole all cleaned up, I have flipped that chopped uh, belt loop up here so it's not going to interfere. And got one of my little patches and the groovy thing about these is of course you can just cut them to whatever size that you need so i'm going to be a little bit generous here and i mean i don't need this much to cover the hole but i mean we're going to use it anyway and i have my iron all heated up and ready to go so So now this step isn't super entirely necessary, but I always like to do a kind of doodle stitch back and forth and back and forth and back and forth over top of the patch just to make sure it is extra, extra super secure. So now the patch is really, really stitched on there well, and I have the added bonus of having the former hole all filled in with these back and forth stitches as well. So now it is super duper extra, extra, extra secure. And uh, yeah, I did, of course, do that on the other side as well. And now it is time to stitch those belt loops back in place. So as I was grabbing my needle and thread, I uh, noticed, like, how cool is this very, very vintage spool of thread? <laughs> now, I am still using the spools of thread that I scored when I was living in Germany a few years ago on um, online. There was a upholstery company that was going out of business and I scored two kilograms of very strong, very cool, mostly vintage threads of varying sizes, widths, colors for about three euros. And uh, yes, I'm still working my way through them. I have not had to buy thread for more than a few years now because of that. And it is just awesome. And um, yeah, it's always fun to see the the old vintage labels. And I mean, this is stamped right on here, fast to boiling. And it was originally 19 cents. <laughs> um, and what does it say here? Mercerized cotton. Does anybody know what mercerized cotton is? Um, okay. 
But anyway, let's, uh, let's move on to the next step. So now because I do not have a big industrial machine that can handle stitching this very thick denim, I am doing it by hand. And you can do this successfully. You just need a thimble to help push the needle through or use my preference, a pair of pliers. <laughs> I find that pliers really give me that, you know, grip on the needle that I need to really push it all the way through. And then once it's on the other side, I can grab it again and pull it. So I have, <laughs> I have my different method of, uh, you know, pulling needles and pushing needles through thick fabrics. And really the pliers work fantastic. But if all you have is a thimble, then go ahead and use that. You know, you just put it on your finger and really, really use it to push and shove that needle through the thick fabric. And it is all done and mended, and I now have functioning, sturdy belt loops once again on both sides here. So that is fantastic. They're not going to go anywhere. And uh, yeah, now I'm going to go uh, wear my jeans. <laughs> How totally fabulous did those jeans come out. The belt loops are super secure now and because I managed to use a thread that was really close to the denim color, it's not super noticeable either. Now, if you guys would love me to share more of these kind of mend and make do tutorials, I would love to do that for you. Please let me know down below if you have any specific kind of mends and fixes you would like me to share because that's what I kind of do. I mean, <laughs> I am constantly refashioning, upcycling, and mending pretty much my entire wardrobe, so I'm sure I can find something to help you out with. <laughs> and as I always say, and you know where to go by now, I think, <laughs> head on over to my Confessions of a Refashionista site at refashionistasherry.com. Absolutely everything is over there. I actually do have a index all about quick and easy mends and fixes, so I shall link that down below. And um, yeah, please let me know what, uh, what do you want me to do next? What kind of things do you want uh, me to show you how to fix? And um, I guess until next time, go to my Patreon <laughs> and <laughs> stay safe, stay well, and I'll catch you on the zigzag.